Super Sinisalo in goal, standard day at the office. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why I was just saying to some of the lads, that's why you're playing goal. Um, it's moments like that that you kind of dream about and it's like scoring a goal for your team. But yeah, it's um, it's a huge team effort from all of us. And then I admit it, when, when, when the penalty got given, you're thinking, oh no, here we go again in terms of the run we've been on. And, and obviously lucky enough to do my research with Maka, Woodsy, Kevin, Kevin, Harry Lee, which we always do before games. And luckily it paid off this time and managed to go the right way and save it. Well, I was going to say, I guess a lot of being a goalkeeper is researching where someone's going to go. It's not just guesswork. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, we do. We do so much behind the scenes that people probably don't realise. But it puts you in a position where you go into games thinking there's no excuses. I know everything about him and you're prepped. And when the moment arises like it did today, you're hoping that you've made the right decision in the classroom as such with the other goalkeepers and you end up going the right way and... Serving the penalty, yeah. I think you've stolen Sonny's headlines a little bit, haven't you? Because no, it, it was yeah, it was huge. a bit about him, really. Yeah, <laughs> Sonny was excellent. He's he's come back from Yeovil. He's come back different man. He's 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 so strong. He's been unbelievable in training. I remember him first first day he came back from Yeovil. The lads are in the changing room thinking, "Wow, this this fella's bulked up a little bit. He's strong. He's he's quick. He looks more confident," which obviously is down to him being on loan and doing well um, and yeah couldn't be more delighted for, for Sonny he's a great lad and I'm sure he'll have a great career in the game It's been a tough run we've been through some some rough times I guess as a goalkeeper you know you, you look at that game at Bolton uh, but you know it's a perfect example of when things go your way and uh, and you're all pitching together that you know we, we can get out of it and we, uh, and we have and we've certainly made a start Absolutely yeah we've got to build on this um, we've the thing is we've been on this run what's it 13 games and not winning and I'm sure we've now come out of it better for it. You learn so much when you're losing. And we're, we're desperate to not let that happen ever again in our footballing careers, wherever you end up going. Um, but like I said, sometimes things, things go your way, like they did today with the penalty. And sometimes you get done 7-0 at Bolton and you got to hold your hand up and think, this is football. But um, this is why we play the game. This is why people come and watch the game, um, to get the excitement that we, that we did today. So, yeah, brilliant. And I think... You know, we and I say we as staff, as players, as supporters, we've we've missed that feeling. You know, three months is a long time, and, and you know we've got to use that now. But you know, those scenes at the end, we've got to use that, that going forward. Yeah, absolutely. It's addictive. It's very addictive. Winning. That's why. That's why all of us play football. We want to win. Um, hate losing. Every single one of us does. And scenes that you get at the end of the game when you've won a game, you can't replace it. And that's why. That's why, like I said, that's why you play the game. You want to. You want to experience that in front of the big bank, especially at home. Again, they were brilliant for us today. Um, we've been on a shocking run and they, were stuck, they stuck right behind us throughout the whole game and we managed to get over the line and that's massively down to them as well. So a um, huge thank you from all of us, I'm sure. And, and to come into this game with that 13 games and then I think there was something like 10 tickets left in the whole stadium. I mean, exactly. that's outstanding. It's, yeah, it's brilliant. It is, like I said, it's it's... It's unbelievable um, the, the run we've been on and people spend their hard-earned money like Reese mentioned earlier um, after the Cambridge game to come and watch us and we've sometimes let them down and we were desperate to make sure that we never do that again and this is a, this is a starting point to start building something special and I still believe we can have a special season together here and we need to we just need to kick on and keep building on this performance. On to the next one which is the league leaders Portsmouth here on Friday. I mean they don't come much tougher than that yeah. in League One, do they? Yeah, it doesn't it, it, it doesn't get any easier. Um, but yeah, it's a game we're looking forward to, especially off the back of winning today. Off the back of winning today, I'm sure it'll be sold out again under the lights at SJP. That's why you want, like I said, that's why you want to play football. And why can't we go and replicate something similar similar to today and go and get another three points and really start looking up the way, um, really start looking upwards in the league and not worry about the teams be below us. I mean, from an outsider's perspective, they'll look at this as 20th placed Exeter against top of the league Portsmouth and, and there'd be an expectation on Portsmouth that, that, that they'd win this game. I guess, do we use that to our advantage in a way? Probably, probably. But it's a funny league. League One's a funny league where anyone can go to anywhere. Fleetwood went to Pratt & Park, got a draw, got a crate point for them. It's a, it's, a, it's a funny league where you can go anywhere and get points and you can beat anyone in the league. If, no, if you're not on your game you're going to lose and that's the that's the beautiful thing about this league so 
like I said, we're all looking forward to it, and I'm sure there'll be a spring in our steps after today. So, um, yeah, can't wait. I mean, I'll ask this next question almost as if you're a manager and, and you're just, a, you, I say just a goalkeeper, you're the goalkeeper who did something amazing. But um, I guess this win came at a perfect time. Uh, Gary's got a lot to work with now. January's just around the corner and he can strengthen t- to the, the squad. In, sorry, he can strengthen what he's already yeah. got in a way and, and just build on build on that yeah exactly that's that's the that's got to be the bare, bare minimum the way we competed today the way we won headers the way we tackled the way we got tight to men and stopped crosses and that's got to be the minimum um we've got to build on that and like i said before i'm sure we'll get stronger from the run of run that we've been on and we'll mentally be so much better for it um but yeah in terms of January, I don't know what's going to happen in January or well, who's going to be brought in and stuff like that. It's not, not, as long as you're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's an exciting time. Exciting time. And like I said, we need to build on this win. And there's no, there's no better time than winning after after Christmas and playing on Boxing Day. That's what we're here for. Uh, and just to end, then you, you said that winning is addictive, I guess. Clean sheets are addictive as well, right? They are, yeah. We were getting them early, uh, quite quite a bit earlier on in the season, weren't we? Where, where we had five in seven or something something like that um but yeah clean sheets are definitely addictive as well um and hopefully i can i can produce some more moments where i can keep the team in it and and um get some more clean sheets i'm sure we'll start scoring more goals and getting up the up the table as well thanks a lot Bill. congratulations Thank you very much. cheers